hello everyone this video we are going to look for a private deemed university which is located in india in tamil Nadu for phd admission 2025 it's open to national as well as international students for the last date for apply 20th november 2025 it's a topmost university and they are offering for huge scholarship for the uh, regular candidate okay so we can look for all the detail how we can apply how we can uh, join for phd over there so let's see the institute name will be Vellore institute of technology okay which is located in uh, chennai and Vellore. they have four campus Vellore campus chennai campus Andhra Pradesh, and bhopal okay these are the four campus they are recruiting for phd candidate with Lord's scholarship also okay uh, as well as huge scholarship also they are providing so we can look the online application has been started already and the last date for online application 20 20th November 2025 okay and for the test they will conduct the test name called Vitri VIT or EE through offline only they are conducting for the test all over india different branches will be there test centers will be there through that they are conducting and they mention over there 7th december 2025 okay different cities they are conducting through computer based test same like uh, net examination okay that is a way different cities they will provide right and for the interview will be in hybrid mode it may be in uh, uh, direct orals and online that is what they have given the result publication date on 20th december and last date for selecting research guide on 31st uh, december 2025 and uh, these are all uh, remaining things okay after selecting for uh, vit and for the fees if you are looking in a sense for all the candidate you need to pay for 1200 they not even divide for the any categories and how many departments available in a sense totally 49 departments they announce for uh, this respective phd each and every and from here if you are looking uh, in a sense business administration management it's available because this respective university related to all the departments arts and science as well as technology economics language and everything is available commerce and accountancy business administration management okay these are all the three um, which is belong to management interrelated subject apart from that engineering is also available in what base they are selecting for the uh, candidate in a sense based on the undergraduate postgraduate academic performance weightage and which you are writing for a victory examination result okay based on that mark or else whoever already have JRF and NET as well as GATE score in a sense you not required to write for the sentence examination okay so that respective mark is also considered as well as for the interview process for the interview process they will focus for research interests and for the SOP okay what is the ability about the research proposal and answers and subject knowledge they are testing as well as communication skill and research experience suppose if there is any publication of the project okay these are all the things they are testing on it so let me go through for the website just you need to go for vit ac dot in once you're going in a sense from here it is rolling or else you need to come down okay from here it is available for under the research section okay so vit ac dot in admission and research you need to go okay through the admission under the admission you need to go for the uh, research section automatically it will show over here once you are clicking this one it will be appear here okay so if you are clicking for eligibility in a sense it's available all the streams and what is the eligibility is required just you need to go through it engineering departments and we can look for management a master degree in business administration ca cwma economics mcom mtech with a minimum 60 percentage of marks or cgp 6.51 out of 10 so they are uh, expecting for 60 percentage if it is in percentage or cgp in a sense 6.5 out of 10 they are expecting for that so each and everything they have posted over here uh, apart from other uh, specialized students you need to look over here what is a 
basic eligibility everything will be 60 and some universities 55 uh, marks but from here it is required for basic will be 60 percent either first class mark they are expecting on it that is a basic things okay as well as and uh, they are providing for the fellowship for the first year 40,000 if you are uh, having for gate qualified above 60 percentile as well as for uh, qualified net scores and other candidate you will get it for this is what the amount okay uh, that is a deep technology once you cleared gate and net you will get this one suppose somebody else will be writing for examination with tree right and those people will get for this kind of fellowship for deep technology students that's the thing they have given over here so those who are applying for other specialized students you need to go through this one okay and uh, apart from this if you're going over here for syllabus if you're clicking for syllabus it will be open here okay so from here all the uh, subject that is phd direct phd phd deep technology direct phd it is a integrated course and phd normally pg uh, completed students will do and this is deep technology that is related to technology related thing things okay and from here they are dividing for a common subject as well as for a specialized uh, subject common subject uh, for uh, all the students they need to write it this is like a UGC net where we are writing for first paper right such kind of things and for these are all the specialization as well as uh, the page number has been provided say for example we can go through for uh, management business administration management it is available 43-44 so if you're going for 43 in a sense it's available same thing if you prepared for net examination you can crack any examination related to whatever university will be conducted okay so if you need to prepare for UGC net based on that if you go through in this syllabus also more or less similar to that respect to related uh, UGC net uh, syllabus okay so totally 10 units will be available for management student this is what uh, you are going to write and from here how they will design in a sense for the examination two parts part a and part b part a will be 30 to 40 question related to first paper okay so for the first paper what are the things they will ask that is what they have given uh, awareness analytical logical language creativity designing observation designing a uh, same thing uh, okay as well as part b will be subject knowledge ability to draw product people see in proportion quality composition proportion perspective and shading creativity so this kind of things uh, they will ask you so you need to prepare on it this will be the second paper so first paper i already told you it is common to all so that is available over here for the first paper once completed this one you can come here see subject wise syllabus for entrance examination direct phd and deep technology common syllabus for all so page number 78 so if you are going for 78 this is what uh, tense forms voice article proportion conjunction writing technical instruction memos transcodes preparing questionnaire proof of uh, proof of reading okay this will be asked for in terms of um, grammar perspective for english communication for 20 marks they will ask you and uh, 80 questions related to technical okay so 80 question related to technical in a sense uh, which is belong to respect to uh, specialized students so keep in mind 80 percent this is for direct phd students that's very important and you have to go over here on the first you can look here it is page number five for management students this is what the pattern the technical students only that is uh, 20 percent uh, normal and 80 percent technical and 15 uh, questions related to other students okay related to paper one uh, subject verbal and status remaining 50 questions related to statistics correlation probability and remaining uh, technical will be 70 keep in mind for uh, direct phd technology students that is 80 come under technical okay and 20 come under uh, this one and uh, first uh, paper and other students 70 technical and first paper will be uh, 30 marks okay 70 plus 30 and 80 plus 20 uh, that is a ratio they are asking for the questions okay 
and for the next one syllabus we gone through as well as information brochure if you're looking in a sense once you're clicking this one the information related detail will be open and for the test centers they are conducting for 25 cities okay these are all the 25 cities each and every state uh, totally 13 state they are conducting for this examination so Bhopal they are having for uh, branch in uh, Madhya Pradesh okay that's the reason so I think all over India the people can attend for this examination and brochure you can click over here and you can download and go through all the detail whatever information has been provided over here that will be helpful to you to do perfectly complete your online application okay so 7th december sunday 10 a.m to 12 a.m PhD direct PhD deep technology they will conduct in 25 cities so you can go through it all those things from here uh, these all the detail which we looked already okay so that's the thing only they have given over here under the brochure if there is any query you can contact depends upon the uh, institute depends upon the branch you can contact this uh, email okay they will guide you all those things and very important things this is what the fellowship i told you a huge fellowship they announced so this is what the thing they are giving Bhopal campus for direct PhD this is what the amount you will get it and uh, for Chennai campus in a sense this is what the amount you will get it and Andhra Pratis in a sense you will get it for this much amount okay and you apart from the tuition fees they are charging for this one this one will be the after selecting candidate so i think this will be a good option for everyone suppose if you did not write for net examination better you can write it for veterinary examination clear it off and get for stipend and you can do it for phd i think this respective information will be helpful to you if it is helpful in a sense you can like as well as subscribe as well as comment below if there is any queries available and share to your friends those who are looking for phd admission in Vellore Institute of Technology. Thank you everyone. Thank you for watching this. Bye.